You're fighting that battle up here in your Golgotha. And what it is, you're feeling it in your natural body. Yes. yes mm. You know how they say stress. You are spiritually stressed out. My God, today. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. You are spiritually stressed out. Mm -mm -mm. You need to get to a point to where your spirit gets strong again. That's good. Let me tell you how to do this. Get away from everybody you know. That's good. You're saying, man, that, that's not, that, 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 you, 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 you're preaching separation? No, I'm preaching survival. Oh, God. Tell everybody you need a break mm -hmm. for five, seven days. Mm -hmm. Baby, I need you to understand. I need this. The Bible tells us to do this. Yes, it does. The Bible tells us that, look, husbands, tell your wife you need yeah. to fast. Mm -hmm. Wife, tell your husband, mm -hmm. I need to fast. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? You need to contain until I finish fasting. That's it. You need to hold yourself together. Because when I come out of this fast, I don't need you to be the devil. Listen! Wow. I don't need you to be my problem. Oh, I don't need to come out to a problem. Jesus! Because the solutions he gives me, you might not like. Listen, sir. See, this is our home stayed together. Yes. That's real. Can I get an amen from somebody amen, out there? Huh? I, 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 yes, I told you. I'm not here to, to win you over. On, I'm here you. to win souls. You should have been won over already if you're a Christian. We are responsible for people not going to hell. That's right. But we can't keep people from hell if, if our group is going to hell. Yes. Jesus. This is my pleasure to tell you that we can overcome. Come on. Once you beat the devil, listen to this now. You need to watch this. This is how come you need to read these scriptures. Once you beat the devil on his home court... Now you go to your court and beat the devils off your court. <clears throat> that part. You listen, you follow the life of Jesus Christ after he beat Satan. Hold up. After he beat Satan, he left the wilderness. You know, first he was ministered unto. Yes, he was. Baby, I'm looking for angels to come minister yes, to sir. me. Oh, I'm looking I'm for really angels to come to minister to me. Yes, sir. Why? Because I just got, I'm just, I'm just, I'm about to leave this wilderness. Come on. Come, he was ministered to on the, on the enemy's court. Yeah. I will prepare a table before you in the, in presence, the presence of your, of your enemy. enemy. Yeah, man, shit, you better be a nut book preacher. Come on. Yes, sir. Well, I'm so glad God yes, knows the word. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I will yes, prepare God. a table in the, presence of, my in the presence of your enemies. Yes. I would have you eating day stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you got to go home. Then. Yeah. Then, after you prepare the table in the presence of your enemies, he will send you home with the victory. Yeah. And when you get home with the victory, all those that are defeated, he will let you defeat them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is time for the saints to defeat the enemy on your home court. That's cast good. the devils out your house. Cast, out your, cast the devils out your off your job. Out cast your the bed. devils. Look, look, you can't. Look, look, you you are at the precipice of greatness in your life, mm -hmm. but you can't do it until you beat that devil that you have been troubling you all your existence. Yes. And the thing about this devil is, listen. How did your devil get powerful? Mm. You let him learn you. Wow. Mm. How did your enemy get, a, get, a, get an advantage? <clears throat> you gave it to him. Mm -hmm. How do I know this? You're above the devil. How do I know this? The devil's not Jesus' equal. It's not. Come on. Jesus made the devil. Yeah. But yet he's challenging Jesus. Huh? You ever seen a son try to challenge the father? Mm. And then the father has to show the son exactly? That you're not as bad as you think. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I was literally, and, and uncle can tell you this because we was talking about it, and I was like, I didn't even know my dad ever told the story to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I came home high one Saturday, mm -hmm. and tripping. My mother can testify to it too. And my father, so you know, yes, I'm. <clears throat> so this was my freshman year, so I was like five nine, five ten. My dad was six four. Mm -hmm. And man, when, they, when I was young, he was in some good shape. He put that six-fold arm around mm -hmm. my throat 
and lifted me off the ground. I'm all, and I'm <laughs> thought I was Louis Armstrong. Come on. <laughs> well, it's because I challenged him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you allow the devil to challenge you, and the devil's wrong, and you're in strength, you're gonna choke. Yeah. The devil. Yeah. You're going to defeat the enemy. Some of us need to get our holes back on the enemy. And they, look, 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 yes, uh-huh. Sons will challenge father and lose. Devils will challenge saints and lose. The enemy who was made by God yeah. in an amazing way. He's an amazing devil. Have you ever yeah. read his description? All right. Challenged him. And he was not even afraid to. What made the devil think that he could challenge God? What makes you think that you can get over on God? Mm. Mm. Let's not call him crazy when we behave the same way. Right, right. You are literally on the precipice. Beat your devil, then go beat devils. That's good. See, mm. you can't have a, a relaxed at attitude. Beat your devil to go beat devils. That's good. I beat my devil. Yes, God. That troubled me. I'm not ashamed. Of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed. See, hey, hey that's why I didn't wear that helmet today. Come on. My construction's over. Oh, God. Check this building out. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord. There's some work still need to be done. Some touch-ups. You know, you know how it is. Things going to come and get that spiritual... Uh, uh, what is that? The people that put all the things in place. My spiritual interior decorator is going to come. Put everything in place, make it look cute. All right, preacher. But my construction is over. Why? Because JCF is about to come like it never came yes, before. God. Yeah. We're yeah. about to be a ministry. Yes. Now they're gonna say, "Hey, don't go over there. You really, really have, we're ready to have some church for real." Come on. The people don't play over there. Why? Why? Why should any church be playing? That's real. That's good. Mm. When hell is real. Mm. People struggling. Come on. When people got real problems, why is any church playing? Yeah. yeah. You just want to hear music, you can go to concert for that. That's good. And give them your offering. That's all the ticket is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They just get your offering before you come. Wow. And keep it if you don't show up. Lord have mercy. But you do that to the church, you have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Church just want their money. Hey, Snoop Dogg just wants your money. Listen. Ice Cube just wants your Come money. Come on. The Isley Brothers just want your money. Yes. And if you like them, go give them some money. But look, don't give them God's money. Wow. So yeah, you want to put it in right perspective? Yeah, you pay for what you you pay for what binds you. So pay for what free you. Man, you better preach, sir. I told you I'm not playing today. Wow. I'm not kidding. Wow. It's real. <laughs> People are going to hell. And devils need to be defeated. Man, I defeated my enemy, man. It, and you know what? It was it was a hard week and a stressful night. But it wasn't the first time. And I used the basketball analogy because, baby, it was game seven. Pastor, come on, man. It was game seven, baby. I was either going to win or close the doors to this church. Wow. And that's what a lot of pastors get. Yep. But the thing about it, that. they close the doors while keeping the natural doors open. Ooh. And then they start giving you a whole bunch of entertainment and mm -hmm. not giving you ministry. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. You better talk right into Ministry's place. coming forward. Hallelujah. Beat your devil and go beat devils. My God today. Jesus Christ got mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the devil. He beat him at his on his home court, ministered to by angels. He went, he left. After that, he left. You know where he went? He went to the last place the devil took him. The last place the devil took him was at the pinnacle of the temple. He went to the temple, opened up the book, and he said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he have anointed what? me to preach the gospel unto the poor. He have sent me to preach to the brokenhearted, uh, to recover the sight unto the blind, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Uh, and, and then he closed the book and went, do what my can I get some? Can, yeah. can, I, can I get somebody who's ready to go do what the Lord wants us to do? 
Hallelujah. Can we proclaim that we're about to walk in victory like we never walked before? Baby, we are champions. Overcomers. Woo! Hallelujah. Anybody need prayer? 